Hey, everybody. Welcome to the USF football show here on FL Teams. Make sure you're, you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you throw those horns up in the comments uh, to let Isaac Edelman, the king of FL Teams, know that USF is the school that most people in Florida care about. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I apologize. We filmed the week one show that because of the internet issues, uh, did not, was not arable. And then week two, I was traveling for NFL purposes, uh, and, and did not get to record that show either. Uh, needless to say, uh, by the way, I'll, I'll, I'll say this. I was in New Orleans last week and walking around wearing this shirt, actually. And uh, I had multiple people come up to me talking about how impressed they were about USF's performance against Alabama. And I said, you know, there's no moral victories. We lost, but we could have won. Anyways, just keep that in mind. Uh, let's move on. Let's talk about week three. USF was traveling to Southern Miss, and this is a trap game, right? It has all of the, the makings of a trap game. Game against a lesser conference team in a small stadium between playing Alabama and then coming home to a sold-out crowd against Miami. Uh, Southern Miss had all the makings of a, of a trap game. So how did that go for us? Well, let's talk about it. Uh, so it's interesting. This game, not surprisingly, started off well for Southern Miss. It was 14 nothing relatively quickly. I don't think USF fans, especially after last year, right? Like this happened. We've, we've been through this before. We weren't super concerned. USF tied the game up real quick. Uh, you know, it it was not. I guess I'm way ahead of what you're watching on the highlights uh, with Southern Miss uh, still at zero zero. Uh, but look, it, it was a game that that USF. It, there, there was bound to be a letdown, and I, I was watching this game with my son, and I said, I'm glad the game started this way. We needed to be punched in the mouth to wake up. And uh, USF woke up after that uh, 14 to nothing start. USF outscored Southern Miss 49-10 to for the last three and a half quarters of this game. Uh, it was Byron Brown, uh, his best passing game, I would say for sure. I, I, I wouldn't say he's hundred percent as far as as accurate and precise as he was last year he did have a beautiful long touchdown to i think it was michael brown stevens that got called back for a formation or a holding penalty the 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 refs oh my god the ref the first three games they really want tv time a lot don't they it's it's kind of obnoxious uh, hopefully the game against Miami is they kind of let the players play a little bit. Um, I apologize. The highlights are a little skippy, but you know, I'm dealing with what I got from the AAC here. Um, but Byron Brown, I think it was his best passing game of the season. He, he, I believe these are his first two passing touchdowns of the season, actually. Uh, the big... I mean, Byron Brown was probably the big player here, 19-29, 193 through the air, two touchdowns, no pick. Sean Atkins, 0-for-1 passing. I, I got to say, I, shout out to Sean Atkins, who has been on this uh, FL Teams be show before, talking to me. By the way, I called his touchdown pass last year when I talked to him. He would have had another touchdown pass. He just didn't quite have enough time to get the throw out, or uh, we, we would have been uh, celebrating another Sean Atkins touchdown pass. Uh, it was also his best game so far, five for 87, best game so far receiving. Uh, he'll get going more, especially during conference play. The, you know, the, these are weird games. And and we, we the one thing I'll say, and this is a concern, and there's going to be a USF Miami show coming soon. Uh, one thing I'll say is the, the 
passing game I'm still a little concerned with. The rushing game, though, 369 yards rushing. Kelly Joyner and Naquan Ray both over under. He was just the fastest guy when he was on the field. It, it sure looked like. Like he got a hole and bye-bye. He was gone. Uh, 10 for 117. That's a, a, a lowly 11.7 yards per carry. Nate on right, 15 carries, 105 and a touchdown. Byron Brown, 72 yards rushing in a touchdown. And Teron Keith, 8 for 53. Good day rushing as well uh, for one yard. And uh, John Cannon, who you're now watching on your screen right now, the kicker with a 17-yard run. He's got some wheels on him. Look at look at the move. at the Oh, they didn't show it. Just barely stepped out of bounds for that great move for the goal line. Um, I'm interested to see how the receivers step up here because Sean Atkins has – not been as good this year as last year. I, I would say there's been a few catchable balls that he has not hauled in. Uh, we're now looking at the the greatest catch of USF season. Probably, you know, you can probably just project that out for the entire season. Blue Ely with the interception, uh, the big man pick, and a tremendous diving catch at that. Uh, but look, USF. Did what they were supposed to do. Uh, uh, there's Nate one, right? Uh, it was not a bit. The defense was a little slow to get started, but they picked it up. Uh, uh, you know, again, obviously, they gave up 10 points in the last three and a half quarters of this game. Like, all right, there's Kelly Joyner. I don't know what these highlights are doing, but we're going to ignore that. Because we need a show to go on. I, I don't know why technical difficulties or traveling difficulties are trying to affect us. I think it's a conspiracy against USF. Anyways, USF is going to Miami. I think we're going to talk more about that uh, as we uh, continue content here on FL Teams this week. And I'll talk a little bit more. The, the opening line, USF is 17-point underdogs. Which, frankly, you know, I, again, I was talking to Isaac Edelman, the grand poobah of FL teams earlier today, and I'm like, I get it, because look at the Alabama game. It was a, a, a single possession game that turned into a 26-point defeat. Lines can be deceiving, right? Uh, or Or final scores can be deceiving. So... USF could be in a one score game and a couple of bad things happen in the late fourth quarter and things could get out of hand. Um, I'm interested to see the crowd. I hope the USF fans, the, the, the people uh, show up. They don't let the, uh, you know, convenience store lawnmower people uh, who pretend that they went to the University of Miami. It's funny. Many people who are fans of the University of Miami went to the University of Miami. But, hey, look, if you're a local University of South Florida graduate, get to the game, right? Let's go. Uh, don't let the crowd be a bunch of, you know, third-grade dropouts who decided, I'm rooting for the U. <laughs> Anyways, hey, USF is 2-1. Sitting in good position. This is a big game as far as national respect, which while while we while you think, why does that matter? All we want to do is win a conference championship. It does matter with the 12 team playoff. You need to get uh, we, USF did gain national respect with what they did against Alabama, even though it will probably be forgotten when they're deciding on what the highest ranked you know, non-power conference team is. But USF, you know, competing, winning this game can go a long way to if they win the conference. Uh, look, if I'll say it right here. If they win their conference and they win this game, I see very little chance that they are not in the playoff. That's how important this game is for USF. That being said, 
they can lose this game respectfully and probably still get there depending on how Boise State and uh, you know what other conference champions happen to do but it, it is more important than people probably give it credit for the same as Alabama if they had won that game and lost to Miami it wouldn't matter cuz USF would basically win the conference and you're into the playoff uh, and I think this is kind of a similar thing, assuming that it's not like a three-loss conference championship. Sorry, conference champion. I don't know. I drink a lot, guys. Give me a break. <laughs> assuming it's not a three-loss conference champion against an undefeated, you know, Boise State or something like that. But we'll see. Anywho, hit subscribe. Like FL Teams. Uh, we should tomorrow or the next day have a Miami USF preview with a, uh, a Miami uh, representative and myself uh, just talking about the game. Cause look, I don't know that much about the university of Miami uh, aside from, you know, most of their fans, uh, you know, I already said it. I already made the joke. I'm not going to make it again. It's a cheap one. Uh, anyways, subscribe to FL Teams. Go Bulls. Let's hit that fight song. Get out of here.